Ooh, baby, got them big old jeans on. Ooh. Yeah, you gotta get a prescription to get them motherfuckers. Ooh. She went to the Walgreens. Yeah, I came to pick up my jeans. That look like them jeans that come with the ass already in them. I better stop playing. See you. Like if you put your hand up, this motherfucker move and all this shit. Stop it. It looked like it's gonna stop. never stop coming like you that put shit. Your hand out, they move. Man. So it's like you in in, in 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 whatever you watch. Bro, this you shit is amazing. You in there. If I would have had I real the wolf. I'm gonna tell I you. I real the wolf. Man, all this shit look real then. I'm, I'm talking about like PlayStation this. 2? No. Like, bro, what real. level? That's not real shit. Hey, that matter. That matter, no, bro. Real like, shit. Like, real. Hey, what level? I was a PS3? Yeah, 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 yeah. PS, what like what we talking about? We talking Probably seven. Oh, that's okay. what I'm saying. That's what, say that's, nine yeah, that's what I'm saying. Two. Like, it's got to be higher than that's what, that what we on. Real life shit. Okay. You can literally sit there and look at the text messages, and that shit will go straight to the text message, bro. Like, this shit adjust to your eyes, bro. So the shit looking at you, looking at it while you looking so, at it. So, yeah, so it don't feel like the Oculus. Have you ever used the Oculus? Man, this control? Oculus is bullshit compared to this. Yeah, that, you went home and broke your light go for the face. <laughs> <laughs> right, that's what going. Man, you don't need no fucking <laughs> controls or none of this shit, bro. This, you can look through your pictures, play music, watch movies, go on YouTube, all of this shit, and it's just controlled by your motherfucking hands and eyes. It's crazy. You can pick different backgrounds. Like, if you don't want to see this shit, you can put whatever the fuck you want to back there. And it's in 3D. Nigga, I was sitting on a mountain last night. So, okay, just so, sitting there. So, and I look up, nigga, it's a whole nother fucking mountain right there. Like, if you look over here, it ain't going to be the same image, just like a mirrored image. It's a whole fucking 360 okay, so, that you're sitting in. So you go to the mountain shit, this is and incredible. you can't see out the shit, right? But then you just hit a button, you can see out? Yes. Sometimes. It's literally that easy. Now, you can literally make the whole, like, National Park shit just the background and still just play all the shit you want to play and just be chilling on the motherfucking moon. You look, you know you sitting on the couch, but if you put your hand down, nigga, you on the motherfucking moon. Can you see your hand? You, you, can, you can see your hand, and it look like you really in this shit. Man, it's, it's the moon. Man, we ain't talk real fingers. All right, bro. <laughs> <laughs> nigga's not hearing me, bro. Yeah. This shit is the, yeah, however good you think it is, it's better, it's better than it's that. Better. Okay. I'm sold. Okay. I will be down there tomorrow to get mine. Cause the thing I heard was it wasn't nothing to do. Like once you now, get past it, that shit, they ain't got a lot of like shit. Ain't no like games or no goddamn like just hey, man. shit out there like that. It's Come enough on. shit that'll make you buy that motherfucker. I right. tell you that. I mean, you kind of selling it right now. How much they gave you one? No, they didn't give me one. This free promo. Oh, okay. I might wait a few months when they can download the whole shit. Tell them to send us one. Y'all want to watch the porno <laughs> act like I'm standing in the living room. That's what I'm saying. <laughs> so you, that's what I'm saying. That's too free. What? So you watch the porno on the moon. And yeah. somebody come in, but you can't see who come in, so you just out. You can Tripping. see. Tripping. Nah, if a motherfucker walk by, you could, you, you'll know that they there. Why are you on the moon? Yeah, but it won't fuck the whole thing up, is what I'm saying. Like, you can see, like, a silhouette type shit. <laughs> okay. You can FaceTime motherfuckers on there, and they just got the shit look like you. Like, you airbrushed. Like, you can, they make a whole facial scan of you while you on the shit. And you can FaceTime motherfuckers from the headset. I've seen a couple people using that okay. feature. Yeah. That shit look weird though. Yeah, you're gonna really look weird when you're sitting there doing like this and you pinching air nipples. <laughs> I mean, that that's working on the, the only way you wow. can make the shit go. You gotta cl right. like click the shit. See, I like being too present in life. Oh, Amen. Yeah, I feel you tuned out. And then yeah, like, to wear it in public, fold out. But think about that's it. On your head? head? Yeah. As as a as an adult, there ain't even many things that could possibly keep us entertained for that long. You get what I'm saying? So when you see this shit, it's really gonna fuck you up. Like, okay, I have severely underrated this product. Yeah. Shit was dope, though. Yeah, it's gonna get smaller. Just like them phones. More convenient. Yeah. It should be some contacts, soon. Whatever it is. 
I ain't putting that shit in my eye, man. Come on, now. Bitch, throw a drink in your eye that electrocuted your eyeball. Now you got a patch on, You know what? I feel like it depends on how the culture talk about it sometimes. They'll entice you. This shit high. Everybody ain't gonna be able to fuck with this. You know, a nigga got shit up by some... Nigga, I was on the moon. Nigga, I was on the moon. Yeah, you feel me? Like, that? he swear me for real. I'm like, damn, for real? Like... Hey, man. And that nigga saw me when he said he petted the wolf. When he said he pet the wolf. No, you don't pet the wolf. Okay. I was talking about this shit they got with dinosaurs. <laughs> Come out, right? It's it's some evolution shit. Definitely. So you sitting on like a mountain, right? Then it's a little butterfly that fly out. Little butt this shit look like it's right there, like and that shit like will come to you. Real motherfucking butterfly. Then a little baby dinosaur come up out the crack. But that motherfucker literally right there. It looked real as fuck. Like you can see it. Cause you there. You're literally just sitting there. And a fucking baby dinosaur come up out the fucking ground. And you like, what the fuck? Then you start hearing like a big ass dinosaur. Like this, what the fuck is this? So this bitch come around the corner, right? And he just like doing dinosaur shit. Then the motherfucker like smell you. Turn around, right? And do the dinosaur shit like on some real live Jurassic Park shit. This shit so close, you feel like you need to move back. But if you try to pet the motherfucker, he like move out the way from me. Man, this shit is the craziest you shit. You better move. I'd have swung on this big ass. <laughs> <laughs> hey, man. Nigga swing Swingin'. anything, boy. Hey. Swinging. I'll swing on that dinosaur. That shit crazy. Man, man if it so, wasn't so late, so I'd send somebody up there to get one of them bitches right now. <laughs> Go get one. i have one next time you see me. Okay. I might not even be talking to motherfuckers no more after this. Found, I found out how to download some digital friends. This is fucking rap. But it got a recipe for driving with it. But they said you're supposed to be able to drive with it because you can see through it. Nah. They That's, going too far. See? They going too far. Because somebody can have that shit tuned in. You drive it on the moon. But that's the thing. No. You can have the shit where you can still see out of it and still use it, though. All it's, your phone shit be up there. Yeah! AR. AR. Augmented reality. See, you be knowing a bunch of shit you don't tell nobody about. No, I, I tried to tell y'all. Hey, man. A few years ago, niggas, they want to live. Try to get a nigga the game, man, and nigga want to try to play Bruh, the game, bro. I'm fucking with it. I'm letting y'all know to get this shit. Yeah. The hood is so. Hey, what's up, world? It's your man, Carlos Miller, man. Make sure that you head over to 85 Apparel Co. Dot com and grab you some fresh merch, man. Get you a hat, a hoodie, a t-shirt, some socks, a life jacket. Um, Anything, man, we got all that, all of that, man, from like onesies for the baby. We even got special items for the ladies coming out with my own foot massager. Well, that's what I'm gonna call it anyway. Whatever, that's 85apparelco.com. Go grab you something and support the movement, man, because the 85 South ain't just about the 85 South, it's about all of us. The hood, the whole hood. The whole, like my section of it. What they doing? Everybody who stay in my building, they fucking with it. Because they got to see mine. It's, yeah, hell yeah. Yeah, yeah. Now, the motherfucker who figure out how to make some money off that bitch now, that's the real genius. Who motherfuckers that made it? They ain't made it. I'm saying the nigga who turned that shit God into some, some millions, that's going to be a cold motherfucker. What, nigga gonna take you on a tour and not go nowhere? I don't know. The nigga who started selling them backgrounds or some shit, whoever got the best shit that they could 3D scan and put in there. I feel like that's low-key happening, though. Somebody got it. Like, like, selling digital property and shit like that, digital world and shit like that. That's that NFT shit, ain't it? That's that, yeah. You're going to start seeing that shit. When you go to concerts and shit, they're going to have that little shit set up where a motherfucker can be like, now you really on stage with these motherfuckers. As is live going on, watch. They're going to be able to watch live shit. Right there like you laugh. Like they in there. Yeah. Oh, that's different. I see where you're going. You might have a whole sold out show and won't nobody be in that bitch. But everybody in that bitch. I don't want to see that. They gonna make yeah. a fake, hey man. You gotta go to live shit. Yeah. You just, I don't, I don't know. know. I gotta get used to just seeing a nigga with goggles and a microphone, like, or whatever, like, would it be? You performing this shit, like... The, you probably, the motherfucker who performing probably gonna have one on two then. And that's so they'll be that's there, saying, like, but they'll saying. be in a whole nother reality. Yeah. And you performing well, for people that can only see you through it. Right? 
And they had, they, no, they had the artist. Bro, you not hearing me. This is some real live shit. Not the game, bro. In like next level type shit. Think about like the game, but you actually in the motherfucking game. That's all niggas want to do, man. If I can get in 2K, niggas been trying to figure this shit out. I cross over and it's nasty in life, but it ain't right on the game. You see, it ain't one of them things where you got to be wandering around and walking around like you in the shit or nothing like nothing crazy where you might fucking hurt yourself. That's cranky. That's crazy. Yeah. Roll up, man. We got special guests in here with us today. Come on, man. J-O-N, what you playing right now? Uh, this, uh, body. Hey, Come on, Turn man. that Come on up. This is, turn this up, man. It's money. Hey, Ace Hood in the building. You feel me? I'm glad I'm kick it with y'all boys, man. See what you what you all y'all built and shit, bro. Like it's a big deal, bro. I'm pulling up to the building, seeing the all black and shit like that. I'm like, damn. You blacked out. Like, yeah, 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 yeah. Black and this is, see, but this is what I mean, though, what I mean about living out here and just like the whole vibe, because this is what I love to see. Absolutely. You know black, you know, individuals being able to provide for the people around them for themselves and for their family. So it. it's really a beautiful thing walking in here, seeing all the activation, seeing just like I feel like your mind is in here. You know exactly. what I mean? It's just like all the parts of y'all are in this shit. So I just think like it just shows. We're working over here, shows. man. We we came a long way. And this is just this that it's that final level up, man, where it could really just turn ideas into you know tangible reality. tangible reality. Oh, yeah. Now we're gonna have to figure out some virtual shit, cause <laughs> Cause you ain't you gonna be in the VR. Definitely. You gonna have a headset on all Well, I'm gonna be able to do I'm gonna at least be teaching some courses or something on that motherfucker. <laughs> <laughs> Yeah, uh, man. The, the game is changing, man. Yeah, yeah. It's gonna be, niggas ain't even gonna have to record shit. They just gonna be able to think of it. Then it's done. Come on. Can you imagine you just plug in and just think, just think, just think of the shit in your mind and there it go right there. That's, you think it ain't some rappers out hard. here making whole raps off chat GPT? They let the, gonna start that. Yeah, yeah, right, right. Man, you know that. Somebody doing it, ain't it? They doing it with the voice and everything. They doing the chat BT for the verse, then they got another Man. one that do the voice and will say what you want it to say the way you want them to say it. Yeah. Nah. Yeah. Nah. Yes, they, like, they doing nah. famous artists, everything, motherfuckers is making Biggie songs. Yeah. Pop. You ain't been on that? Man, this You, you ain't smart, you smart AI shit. Yeah. yeah. Like, shit that, okay, okay, yeah, I been hearing that. Shit. They yeah. going crazy with that shit. That shit finna I've been seeing in, that shit. That shit finna get in the video shit. It's already somewhat in the video shit, but it ain't where... Man, and that shit is going up through the roof every few months. Yeah. Yeah, this shit getting better. It's Man. scary. Because you ain't gonna know what's real. I'm gonna ask you, what, what should Ace Hood name the new album? What, what should I name that? We about to see. Yeah. That's crazy if you give a real suggestion. Watch this. It's gonna give you a suggestion based on... <laughs> Your history already is okay. <laughs> Ace Hood could name his new album. You ready for this? Unstoppable Evolution to convey growth, resilience, and progress in his music career. <laughs> you think I'm bullshit? Chad GPT. Yeah. <laughs> Nah, see, this this why I don't rock with it. I'm telling you. That ain't bad. It's like, or is that the name of your album? See, don't tell us this is the name of your album. Cause if you already named your nah, album, nah, it ain't it ain't the name of my album, but it's what I've been on. The evolution, the unstoppable evolution is oh, what I've you, been you on. You understand me? Like, <laughs> ain't gonna lie. That shit work. <laughs> That's what I've been on. The yeah. fact that this shit ain't like it know that, me is weak. Yeah. Yeah. It do know you. Yeah. But you might have said some shit on the interview. So I don't know where it's pulling and, shit and, from. And it's it pulling from everything like, on the internet. It made me internet. a little proud too because it, it, it got the. Even the computers it got know. The, even the computers know what I'm on. Right. You feel me? Like, right. which means right. that I, yeah. Right. You yeah. Just, you don't put it out there some type of way digitally. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. It's in it's in the imprint. Yeah. Well, folks talk about your footprint. Yeah, it's what you leave in the stamp in the real world, but that's not a bad digital one to have. That's not a bad. That's not a bad digital one to have, yeah. bro. Yeah, yeah, that's real. Let me know what they think, man. What y'all think? Unstoppable evolution. Man. That's kind of wild. That's kind of wild. It sound right. That's crazy. Now, I could have, now, if it would have just said something. I asked him, what should you name your comedy you special? It said, Laugh Chronicles, from the South to the Stage, to highlight his Southern roots and comedic journey. <laughs> <laughs> hey. Mm -hmm. Hey, man. That's him telling you. Hey, man. Hey. 
That's don't ask that home. motherfucker nothing else. Nothing else, bro. You don't have this shit. No. That yeah, I got it. I told you about it. That shit scared me. I turned it off. Because I was trying to break it. Yeah. I was trying to ask it shit. I knew it couldn't answer. Instead, I should name my comedy special Unfiltered Laughter, The Carlos Chronicles. To Why? No, don't his chronicle world. us. Chronicle. Unrestrained comedic style to showcase his unique storytelling ability. Why are you trying to chronicle us, though? They chronicle us. That feels just, this shit feel hard. Our <laughs> shit felt generic. Like, anytime you put a comedian in there, chronicle. Chronicle. Like, yeah, 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 yeah. Like, chronicle. they gonna hit you. Yeah. yeah. You some Wouldn't chronic. Yeah. Hey, what's up? It's Carlos Miller coming at you with Prize Picks, where a single entry could be life changing from NBA to NHL to MLB to college basketball, baseball. There's a wide range of options to choose from, especially during March Madness. Getting started is a breeze. Simply register, deposit, and select more or less two to six player stats like points, assists, rebounds, and potentially win up to 25 times your entry. That's right. Plus, if it's your first time on Prize Picks, they'll match your initial deposit up to $100. Available in over 30 states. Head to Prize Picks now and use promo code 85SOUTH for the exclusive benefits. Download Prize Picks today for your daily fantasy sports experience. Daily fantasy sports made easy. This show is sponsored by BetterHelp. Hey, what's up? It's your man Carlos Miller, back again with BetterHelp. If you had more time in your day, what would you do? Work out? Fully fix that car? Read a book? Check on your homies? Many of us yearn for more time in our lives, but what would we do with unlimited time? Identifying our priorities and making them a focal point can help us incorporate what truly matters into our schedule. Therapy can assist in uncovering those meaningful pursuits, allowing us to allocate more time to them. Consider giving BetterHelp a chance. If you're considering therapy, it operates entirely online, offering convenience, flexibility, and alignment with your schedule. By completing a brief questionnaire, you'll be paired with a licensed therapist, and you can switch therapists at any time with no incurring extra fees. Learn to make time for what makes you happy with BetterHelp. Visit BetterHelp.com slash 85 South today to get 10% off your first month. That's BetterHelp, H-E-L-P forward slash 85 South. That's funny. That's crazy. That's hard. Well, Jay, we didn't think it's time for us to. Um, oh, we ain't even cranked up yet. We ain't even oh, crunk up oh, yet, man. I was trying to give you some time to put oh, together man, you know, some it's vegetation. I'm slow, especially if we in here talking. We talking all type of shit. This, you know what I'm saying? This shit a higher level. I just had a shit. I just had one day. Hey, man. This chat, you be addicted to asking this motherfucker question. It learned from me though. I corrected it before. It said some shit wrong about me, and that's it. You're right. I apologize. I don't know everything. <laughs> and it just started explaining. I only know stuff up to 2021. <laughs> what? Yeah. Oh, okay. They only know shit up to okay. like 2021. They okay. ain't like rebooted that bitch. Yeah. They might not need to. You know what I'm saying? Yeah, they gotta update you. Shit don't update need to be you. smarter than us. Hey man, welcome back to the 85 Show. Yeah. I don't know if you know, but it's time that you get to know. This was voted the number one show amongst black people who have owned or written in a Cadillac. Mm. Mm. This is the number mm. one show amongst black people. Ooh. That was blacker when they were younger. Only real black people even know what that means. J-O-N, yes, you been in your bag. Yes, and I've been telling y'all we got all kind of guests that's just gonna stop through the trap this year. You don't never know who gonna pull up. Sometimes we just go outside and be like, who out there? <laughs> but these, you know, other times I be having to call somebody call that somebody. know somebody 
They went somebody. to school with somebody. They owe somebody a couple of dollars. They don't talk, but they'll give me the number to go around and all that. Send the email, then get a text, then call them on WhatsApp just to get their Facebook page so they can tell me to follow them on Instagram, send them tweets, then leave a voicemail, then get a call from an unknown number. Call them back block. They don't answer the phone. <laughs> Let somebody send a text. They say, who is this? Text back. You text me first. <laughs> that's how That's how hard I go for this show. I go through extreme means just to go get some of the codes. Hey, say, you do all that. Some of the brightest. Some of the hardest. Some of the most world-renowned. Come on. Nick. Ghetto legends. Ghetto legends. Now, when you become a ghetto legend, that's better than just being a regular legend. That means you did something in the ghetto that you gonna forever be remembered for. I'm talking about this thing that sold millions Come on. of records. Come on. I mean a whole bunch of millions. Come on. Platinum plaques. Yeah. One of the only rappers in the game. Ain't nobody had shit crazy to say about. Ain't nobody took nothing from. Ain't play nothing. Come on, man. Thorough. All the way up and through there. Been on a journey of evolution. Unstoppable. Quit Something eating crazy. chicken. Now you just eat fruits and vegetables and smoothies. <laughs> soft fruits with no <laughs> seeds in them. But he wants the seeds in them so they can be organic. <laughs> Spring water. Alkaline. Alkaline. Sour sauce. Alkalinic. <laughs> No, man, my dog, Ace Hood. Yeah! Oh, man. Ace soft fruits. Come on, man. It's hard. Nothing but string beans. <laughs> <laughs> now, that shit crazy. Welcome to the trap, G. Yes, How you sir, been? Bro. How you been? I've Catch been us good. up. Baby, I've been good, man. Where do we it's even start? That's what I'm saying, honestly, bro. It's, it's been a journey, dog. I don't even know where to start. It's like, we can start anywhere. We can start. We can start with the light, we can start independent, we can start, you know what I'm saying? We can go get kids, life, man, we can go travel, we can go business, we can go... There's so many pillars and, 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 and you know, places we can touch on. Oh, well, I'm gonna go ahead and say it then, Brady. Everybody been seeing you on the ground. Yeah. In love. For sure. The, 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 you done this wiped her off. Yeah. Every time yeah. you got all women all across the country. You see what Ace Hood do? Yes. Yeah, yeah, yeah. You a lightweight bodybuilder now. You picking her up and all this. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Putting pressure yeah. on the streets. Yeah. You found that one. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Congratulations, Thank my boy. You. How it feel? It feel beautiful. It feel beautiful, dog. Honestly, bro. You know what I'm saying? Um, to have a partner, you know what I'm saying? Yeah. Somebody who's really a partner for you and, and with you, dog. Allow you to be vulnerable. Respect how you feel emotionally. You know what I'm saying? Respect my struggles and the things that I went through. Right. Um, and yeah, man, allow me to just be, you know what I'm saying? And I think that's important for men to just have safe spaces, you know what I'm saying, with their partner where they can just be, they feel safe. You know, you can be open and honest and shit. And they ain't never had that. I ain't, ain't come from that. See? Yeah. Where you find her at? <laughs> she ain't yeah, no sister. Everybody be asking me, man. <laughs> How you detoxing? <laughs> she rolled in on the media rights. Yeah, yeah, no toxicity. <laughs> oh, yeah, 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 yeah. Now, we ain't say, now, toxicity, oh, okay. it lives okay. in all of us. Now. Yeah. Okay. You know yeah. what I'm saying? Uh, I, my, my girl, sometimes I was like, hey, now you, you in the oil spill. Right? Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> well, that shit, is, you got this shit on me. Yeah. <laughs> I ain't had this much toxicity on me, but <laughs> Yeah. Right. But nah, okay. That's what's up. Yeah, it's bro. work. It's, it's real work. Yeah, it's real work type shit. Okay. You know what I'm saying? Yeah. Like that shit can get toxic for sure. Uh in the beginning portion. But I think we were super intentional about our marriage and even getting together. You know what I'm saying? So for us, you know, even on our journey to heal and all that shit, yeah. we decided to do that together. That's what's up. For the most part. Nah, that's dope. Um, Find so. somebody to do that with. How you know she was the one? Somebody that was the on that as soon as I told the lady you was coming on the show, that's that was the number one question that I got. How you um, knew? For me, it was a uh, it was a response. Like you know, some shit had got out early on in our relationship about um, I don't know whether the time I think me and my being was at odds or something like that, or just some propaganda got out into the internet. Mm -hmm. And uh, it was about uh, I think it was about it might might have been about my being with or somebody else. And uh, as opposed to going off on me about the shit, like she understood. So to me, that was a that was a real moment for me. 
because <clears throat> naturally, like, you don't meet a woman, like, she may jump to conclusions, you know, being that she don't understand your situation. Right. So being that she didn't jump to conclusions, and she was like, she came from a place of understanding, a place of, com you know, being compassionate and all of that, I was like, you know, this is something to build on, and I feel like I've never gotten this response in terms of like, you know what, I understand. Right. Tell me what happened. And to me, that was major. So that was one of the inclinations that I recognized. Like, oh, yeah, yeah. Like, she's right. for sure. Because like, you were probably for preparing show. for the bullshit. Yeah, because we, you we was hadn't like, even talked around that time either. I'm like, uh, I, I ghost him. Yeah. I ghost him. I ghost him, motherfucker, quick. You know, I'm college, bro. <laughs> I ghost him and get going and forget it ever happened. So, you know, some time went by, and then, you know, by the time we did have a conversation about it, uh, I like the way we went about that conversation and that conversation unlocked some other things, mm -hmm. some other truths and shit okay. like that. So yeah. uh, it made it made that moment real special. You know when you had that bond, that bonding moment between like, your yeah. person where it's like, my nigga, man, I appreciate okay. you. Yeah. Oh, like, you get it. You, you got, got me. Type yeah. shit. Like, you got me yeah. type yeah. shit. So that's really was. And not only that, bro, you know, as long as I can still be me and be married, that's what matters. That yeah, you gotta be yourself. Yeah. I can't be nobody else now. Yeah. I'ma be I, I'm sorry, this the shit. This I know it ain't easy. <laughs> I let I let him know. Man, you find somebody to let you be yourself. That's worth fucking with anyway. Yeah. Especially with these horror stories you hearing on the internet now. Yeah. yeah. All my a few of my homies going through that. Yeah. Horror, a few man. of mine too. You know what I'm, saying? <laughs> I'm like, boy, the dating world just sound like it just sounds something that's almost ancient now. Like the way they talking about it. Yeah, this shit sound like a it's crazy. I took a bitch out, she ate 47 oysters. <laughs> In real life. <laughs> the, the bill was 2,000, bro, crazy. The bitch did eat 47 oysters, and then act like, ordered an entree, ordered a side, ordered drinks, and Buddy left and went to the bathroom. She recorded this shit, and she like, I, he could have said something for it. No. 47 oysters? Nah, bro. You yeah, I can't be concerned. You're a, you're a mammal. You're a sea. Right, right. <laughs> I can't fuck with no woman that eat no you fucking ate all that. That's how I feel, Ooh. bro. I'm like, yeah, yeah. I wouldn't give a fuck if it was chicken nuggets. Bitch. Yeah, you yeah. ate 47 anything. I right. don't want a woman to eat 47 nothing. Not even 47 M&M. Bitch, you ate 47 yeah. pigs in a blanket. Nothing. <laughs> <laughs> you say 47. Not even 47 M&M. Nothing. Nothing. 47 I'm M&Ms is a lot. How many in a pack? Like 22. There's two know, packs man. of M and M's at one, like in, <laughs> right. in one sitting. Yeah, that is that's very concerning. Though. That's scary. Like I appreciate a woman who's not afraid to eat all her food on a date, but you I definitely not food. like all the food. Yeah. You ain't got to eat the whole menu. That's, that's crazy. shit you right, save right. to like later on when she and when y'all already take a lot locked home. in. They try to take a lot home. Like they try to take a whole separate order home. Right. <laughs> and that's something you should tell somebody if they paying. Yeah. Like you know I can eat these motherfuckers all night. No, for real. Yeah, yeah, After yeah. like 15, <laughs> then you need to be like, I pay for the rest of these. Okay, 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 right. okay. I know, I know, I know. You think it? I can't possibly yeah. want no more. But you ain't gotta pay for these. I got these. <laughs> yeah, right. Bow right. right. right around. The next 15 yeah. on me. That's crazy. <laughs> now nah, I wouldn't fuck with her, bro. Yeah. You can't ask for no pussy after she done ate 47 or She's right. in shit. Over with. What is wrong with your <laughs> stomach, man? You need to go to the ER. We yeah. need to go to the hospital. That's the next step. Yeah. But, but you finna make a pearl inside. You're an oyster. You spend right, the night. Right, you're right. an oyster. You're gonna right. shit out of pearl. You spend the night with her and she on boo boo the whole time. Like what the fuck is that? That morning shit? fart gonna be the stankest shit in the motherfucking <laughs> world. You gonna think a dead aquarium done bust open? <laughs> right, right. I never want to see you again if you eat 47 oysters. I don't want to see you at 42. Straight I hope up. I bought that bitch at 35. Straight you up. take a woman out to eat and Straight when up. she finished, they be like, "Ma'am, can we get a picture?" For what? We're gonna put you on the wall of fame. <laughs> We're gonna put your picture right next to Big Joseph. <laughs> he he 42 oysters. We're gonna put you on our wall, our captain's favorite. <laughs> <laughs> That's crazy. Hell no. Man, the, it's over with out here for the dating world. Yeah, that's dead, man. You, got, your, you said your homies got stories. What they going through out here, man? Hey, how you gonna get them out of What you be trying to tell them to get? <laughs> you know they be calling, want some advice, bro. They be wanting advice, but you know, not they don't always take the advice, bro. You feel me? So They like, do the opposite. They call you and it, 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 it be like, that's what I should do. That's what I should do. You feel me? But fuck that. Yeah. That's, what my mind, bro. that's exactly how you respond, too. I started to have my dog here today, too. I'm telling you, the same way, he, man. He say, no, but fuck that. He's man, I'm out here, bro. <laughs> Nigga gonna ask and not do it. Yeah. Every time. Then when they fuck up, man. It's mainly the I responsibility. I should listen to you, man. Yeah, it's the yeah. responsibility. 
Women want this, they want that. But she was looking to get this out of me and this, you know what I'm saying? Shit, so. All right, welcome back to the 85 South Show. I don't normally be eating and drinking on this show, but this lemonade is too goddamn good not to. This uh, motherfucker brought from? you one lemonade JJ? in a Ziploc bag. Fit old. This shit good. I might have heard y'all oh, boy talking last? about that. Uh, I was talking was shit. I'm so before. sorry, man. You ain't been to JJ? I ain't been to JJ's, bro. I've been out here, bro. I got to get right. You haven't had it? What bro, you I need want? a hood tours or something like what that, bro, to get me through. What you, you mean? eating these? Take me all through the little hot spot. They never going to... Let you it's fried food, they though. They gonna be fast, yeah. No, they got some other shit. They got no, they some grilled shit. No, they don't. They fry everything. <laughs> everything fried? Nigga, they fry the receipt. They fry everything. <laughs> they got no grilled nothing. Shit, right. No. Mm -mm. Grilled nigga, little snap. Mm -mm. They got one. They fried that lemonade. <laughs> <laughs> lemonade deep fried. Hard. That's why that bitch so good. And then you can get a flavor with the, uh, what you call it? You can be real childish. Again. Now, we're going to put you up on the spots, man, to let you know where to get some good shit. Mm -hmm. 2 Chain got a spot out this way. Escobar. Escobar, I heard about that. Yeah, Escobar South. Oh. That ain't too... Hey, man, let me, let me shut the fuck up. for the ATL yeah. food tour. Where the hell we at? This episode is sponsored by Blue Chew. That's right. Blue Chew wants to help you have better sex. Discover your options at BlueChew.com. Chew it and do it. Blue Chew is a unique online service that delivers the same active ingredients as Viagra, Cialis, and Levitra, but in a chewable tablet and at a fraction of the cost, you can take them anytime, day or night. The process is simple. Sign up at BlueChew.com, consult with one of the licensed medical providers, and once you're approved, once you're approved, once you're approved, you'll receive your prescription within days. The best part is all done online, so no visits to the doctor's office. No awkward conversations and no waiting in line at the pharmacy. And we've got a special deal for our listeners. Try Blue Chew for free when you use promo code 85SOUTH at checkout. Just pay $5 shipping. That's BlueChew.com, promo code 85SOUTH to receive your first month free. Visit BlueChew.com for more details and important safety information. And we'd like to thank Blue Chew for sponsoring the podcast. You can't say it out here. We, this the whole city. Out here is everywhere. Out here. Yeah, out this way. We in here, but we out there. I ain't trying to be out there. Too much shit out there. You can be out there if you mm. This is how we get out there, through the camera. Hey, man. Real shit. You cold as hell with that rapping, man. Shit, man. Thank you, bro. You ain't gonna be rapping fast and all that shit. Thank you, bro. Yeah, bro. Who did you Who did you perfect your, your rap skills with? Like, how did you get that shit so dialed in? Honestly, dog, as being a uh, down south guy, yeah, I always listen to a lot of up north. You know what I'm saying? Like who? Who you fucking? I listen to the north? Big L up north. I listen okay, to um, um, oh man, what's my guy name? Um, uh, it's a guy from the past too. Um, oh, they got but uh, MC, uh, A Z. It's another guy, man. He will rap fast too. Uh, from up north. Oh my God, I can't forget. They had a few. Yeah, yeah. but this was the, one of the guys. Um, had to come to me. Oh, okay. Um, I just left New York. Fuck, <clears throat> old The Mecca. Okay, Shit going man. crazy up there, man. Rats everywhere. Migrants. They having a migrant crisis up there now. Yeah, I forget bro, name though, but. They trying to give them bread too. Yeah. They've been putting them up in hotels and stuff. And then they said to some some crazy shit I read, they said they got them giving them meals, but they're not eating the meals. Cause they don't want the shit or whatever. So they wasting the food. So instead, they gonna give them a debit card with like twelve thousand dollars on it and be like, What? I'm finna get me one. That's what the fuck I'm saying. That's that crazy. Wait, what you talking about? This is this is up in New York with the migrants and shit. The mayor trying to make some shit up there where, where they just give them this money. Because they got the money from the immigration and border shit. But folks be like, y'all don't do the shit for the people. And that's, you know what I'm saying? You yeah. got homeless people here that you won't do shit for. Damn. And that money comes from somewhere else. And that's how they always separate all that shit. And try to make the shit seem like, well, it's nothing we can do. Well, we can't. It don't work like that. Yeah, because you don't want it to work like that. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Damn. We was talking about music and got all political and shit. Yeah. 
I wish I could remember dog name, but he was one of the ones. Dog used to, and because he not like the common rappers, I just can't think of his name right now. Uh, but he's from the old school, dog. But he used to, you know, spit that fast flow. And um, cause you know, I came up in the era where it's like niggas used to always say niggas from down south couldn't rap. So yeah, they that whole that. that whole energy was going on. You feel me? Yeah, rappers from the south kind of had to carry that shit. Right, you know, right. You had to prove yourself. You had to the extra. There you go. But. My thing was, they were saying motherfuckers couldn't rap, and I was like, y'all not even listening to what they were saying. Like, some of the shit they was, like, referring to rappers, like, oh, they sound country and shit. I'm like, did you not just hear this nigga say this big-ass word just because the nigga got a motherfucking accent? You know what I'm saying? Like, yeah. yeah, that shit crazy. Yeah. They just didn't fuck with the Southern lifestyle, though. What, having a car? No, I'm just saying, the, the whole lifestyle, the, <laughs> the southern culture that yeah. we got, bro. They don't, we got music. Fuck that shit, B. This nigga's riding shit around. That we actually doing <laughs> yeah. down here. Just drive themselves everywhere. That's crazy, sir. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Y'all drive on the street, we ride under the street. Right. <laughs> they ain't got asses like that in New York. Mm hmm? When you, no, but, ass, it, it's, it's too, it's not enough room. They ain't got asses like You that. gotta go. So they don't <laughs> why we need certain shit. Some, some shit, we, see, we have music that fit exactly where we going, nigga. Booties mm -hmm. like dudes. Exactly. It's strip booties. club type shit. Booties. Some, some shit to sit in the yard and smoke a good blunt to. Uh, some shit to ride the court to. These niggas ain't living like we live. What they make up, no, titty music? <laughs> yeah, in New York. <laughs> <laughs> some shit Stimbling that's gonna music. piss somebody off too early in the day. Now, I got to go to work. Yeah. Some shit to make the titties bounce. Yeah. But at Hood, you done had some of the, the biggest songs of the. Like anthems, my nigga. Yeah, when you know that shit go crazy and when everybody know it, though, it's like everywhere you turn, every video, every fucking radio streaming, all that shit, man. You had some, like, tell me some of the some of the moments of you that still, like, really stand out, keep you going in the game. Oh, man. Uh, it's a lot of moments, dog. Uh, you know, I think, you know, jumping out with the record that I did, the, the cash flow record was yeah. huge. You know what I'm saying? With T-Pain and uh, Ross on it. That was a big way to introduce myself at that time. I'm 18 years old. Yeah, uh, yeah I was a young nigga. I'm still a young nigga. So, it's so funny because some people see me be like, they think I'm older than I am. I'm like, yeah, but I was like seven when you was like, I know you want nigga. What? <laughs> nigga, I was, right. you know what I'm saying? Like, <laughs> nigga, you might. Yeah, right. I'm three five, so like, you know. Yeah. So, um, but yeah, bro, Cashflow was one of the ones to introduce. But like, you know, after you know dropping them two projects and then. Uh, with that one, pro two projects, and then, you know, getting into, like, the self-proclaimed record, which was Hustle Hard. Yeah. To me, that was, like, a self-identity record of, like, I arrived yeah. because of what all led up until that point of me just generating that record, dog, yeah. was, like... You got you know, to hustle hard, nigga. Yeah, bro. You know what I'm saying? Everyone, so shit like that was was huge. It was one of them amps. Oh, that shit. When, you know, that shit was coming out, you finna hit back to back banger. Yeah. From, you know what I'm saying? Yeah. Like, yeah. yeah, I remember hearing shit like yeah. that, like... First time going down to like, not first time, but first time going down to Florida for comedy. Yeah. To do comedy down there. Yeah. Yeah, bro. Yeah, we had to sit this song up, man. You know what I'm saying? I was like the youngest part of like that movement. So I was like yeah. the baby of that. Right. You see what I'm saying? It was Raw, Flow, Cali. Um, I was on the road. Lies, everybody, you, you know, know what I'm saying? Like, it, 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 it was a, But y'all ain't let up. The South period has been. <clears throat> Running, but it was certain areas. It's like, oh, okay, yeah, now you yeah. see, they got it right Down now. The crib, yeah, they up. got it. Yeah. <clears throat> yeah, yeah, but like you said, that was a hell of a way to introduce yourself, man. Yeah, bro, jumped in that way and to do so. To me, that record was big, dog, for the simple fact of like where I was, because it was like literally for me to have created this record. Like I, I was in a space of like literally me and my dog on the couch, we trying to figure it out. You know what I'm saying? Bruh sent me the beat, Lex Lewis sent the joint over, and I'm like, man. Literally, like my, my my thought process was like, if I flip the flow on this bitch, this shit going to another level. That's it. Yeah. Like I knew that. Yeah. Like if I flip this in a way, because yeah. I knew what everybody else was doing. I'm always, anytime I approach a record, trying to be more innovative than anything. You see what I'm saying? Trying to create something new for people, a different style, right. or maybe we saying the same thing but just in a different way. Right. So that's how I approached that record, and uh, man, I put that shit on the mixtape. Put it on the mixtape. That shit went crazy. You see what I'm saying? So. Uh, you know, and I love that. I love forcing the hand, meaning like putting the energy out and then the people, you know what I'm saying? Right. 
like, you know, you get them calls. You know what I'm yeah. saying? Oh, yeah, but this shit going. Boy, you heard that new hood record? Boy, that yeah. shit, da, da, da. And then from there, man, we so just. So you did this shit that quick? Just like you got the did that? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Uh-huh. It was on. Yeah, it was literally like, that was my current situation at the time, too. It was like, man, I got to figure this shit out. I got to hustle. You feel me? And, uh, you know, really just uh, that bitch did. take control, Crazy bro. Numbers. Yeah, yeah. yeah. I think it probably still do. That bitch still doing numbers. Man, hell yeah. I got just a, my, my old catalog on its own doing numbers. My back catalog. Not even talking about what I do independently, but like, you know. So it's it's a beautiful thing. Yeah. Uh, and and <clears throat> I, I love all of the records, man. And from there, you know, we created more shit. Got in the studio with Wayne. Hell yeah. You know yeah. what I'm saying? We out shit shit. We got the Bugatti shit. We got yeah. the, you know, all these shit's top that five. That Bugatti records, shit, man. I feel like it's a lot of motherfuckers that just said that after. Yeah, you know what I'm yeah, so, yeah, yeah. You, you sure. Motherfucker ain't know where the Bugatti was at that time. <clears throat> yeah, I was damn so confused. I yeah, said, I know what niggas you doing waking up? I was traveling overseas, so I already knew what was going on. Let me see that lighter. <clears throat> I woke up in a new Bugatti. That's a hell of a night. Yeah. That's a hell of a night, When you bro. fall asleep and just wake up in a brand new fucking... That's Bugatti. the black people hangover. That's the black people. That's what that is. Woke up in a new Bugatti. Mm -hmm. we, we putting that shit in production right now. We already, um, you know, we'll take some meetings later. <laughs> Talk later. How you liking the, <laughs> the independent route? I like it, bro. You know what I'm saying? Uh, honestly, bro, I, I love it. it. It has its challenges, but I love it. I love the ownership portion of it. You yeah. know what I'm saying? Uh, I like putting my hand on it. Um, you know what I'm saying? Like really overlooking the thing. You know, um, the moment I went independent, though, I went back to school and all. For real? I went to Berkeley, nigga, took a music business course. Berkeley? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Oh, shit. Uh, like a six week, feel me? Course. And, uh, you know, got my degree on that. Just so I just wanted to get the information. Because what I recognized before is I didn't have the information. So a part of me was powerless for real. You see me? Yeah. So, <laughs> so I, I enjoy the independence because it's like it's by your own hand. Right. It's how are you going to show up for yourself. And, uh, I love that, through good or bad, I love that showing up and knowing that I got the power to change whatever my circumstance look like. I right. love that, you feel me? Yeah. I get to learn the information. I could go in, I could spend time with it, and ultimately I can change the thing. Right. You know what I'm and make it look however I want to look. Right. I can play, I can be vulnerable, I can do whatever. And I like that freedom, bro. Well, you know most saying? definitely. You know you love Structuring my own up. business, my own contracts and shit, like, you know, like, yeah. <laughs> So walking to the mailbox with the mysterious checks in there. Like, Come on now. Oh, I forgot I've been working hard. Oh, now. oh yeah, on, they do owe me. Come on, they now. owe me <laughs> forever. Oh, forever yeah. they owe me. Did yeah. we send the invoice? <laughs> yeah. Snooky. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Send the invoice. <laughs> Yeah, yeah. Yeah, nah, that's what's up. So you went the whole business route, music, you said it was a music business? Music business. School, got your degree in that shit? Yeah, I got my degree in that. Man, that mm -hmm. man invested you in make, it. So. You can make a lot of money, you just gave. So do you not teach need, that shit? you handle everything, or you still got? <clears throat> oh, no, I got I got people to, okay. to delegate, you know what I'm okay, saying? They you know, can't take you for no motherfucking ride. No, nah, they can't play with me. They can't play with me. Nah, nah, they can't play with me. I'm too, like, you know, I'm aware now, dog, as opposed to just, you know, most artists, as we like to do, we like people outside of us to handle our business. You got to share that, that some of the game that you got from taking the music class, bro. What's one of the things that that really stuck out to you once you got into it? Man, he had to pay for uh, school. You yeah, had to pay bro. for school, right? Yeah, yeah. Oh, you had a scholarship. You had to pay. Yeah, yeah, I had to pay. Yeah, yeah. Don't so it was, tell them it was shit. The course that I took. Yeah, yeah. Don't, don't tell them like nothing. That. That's why motherfuckers yeah. don't. You take your ass to school. You might not be able to go where he went, but you could go somewhere. <laughs> right. Don't give nah, me I mean, no, you, you could learn, like, you can learn all type of things, man. Like, you know, learning about the different uh, type of, like, uh, licensing and sync uh, and the difference between, like, uh, royalties and publishing and stuff like that uh, and what you actually get paid from that. Um, if your music is playing in the background somewhere, what that royalty looks like, too. You know what I'm saying? So understanding different uh, language and contracts in perpetuity, learning what that means, you know what I'm saying? It means like for the lifespan of, so it's like you don't want deals like that's in perpetuity. And for most of the people who, of artists who, you know, who are young and they get them contracts to say that because they want to, you know, uh, hold you to that lens so they can kind of keep recycling, recycling, recycling. Um, so, you know, those are like the key things for me that, that I learned uh, through it, just about the royalties and shit. Um, and then, not, like now, I got into like neighboring rights. So the neighboring rights is like 
uh, being able to collect money overseas. You know what I'm saying? A lot of artists don't know that. You can collect BMI and your sound exchange and all of that in the States, but overseas, there's a whole pot of gold that you, many artists maybe don't know about. Hey, yo, that's neighboring right. They playing that shit. If they playing, <clears throat> you know here they playing it then. So like it's a whole another situation over there that we can go take advantage of, but so for artists, man, looking to neighboring rights and shit like that, so if your music has ever been playing like 40 different countries across the water, uh, we get paid for that too. So um, just little things like this is, is, is what I've been focused on. And I think that's sometimes where maybe the unfun part come in because I got to be so focused on the business mm -hmm. and the logistical parts of things. Right. So, you know, uh, it ultimately it's finding like the right pieces that, that can get the thing to where we need it to go. But uh, I'm being patient and I know what I want. So, you know. That's hard. Man. Yeah, bro. It's good to hear, though. Yeah, bro. Good to hear. Really? Like that motherfucker. Like you taking it serious to the point where you go back to school. That ain't no. Yeah. That ain't no easy task. Yeah. Music yeah, but took not, hey, you ain't just go to school to fuck around. You went to school. You I'm like, I'm going with this yeah. right here. This thing that y'all got it. Y'all okay? Yeah. Cause yeah. it felt, bro. It felt terrible, dog. I feel like getting out of my situation and not having ownership of my Spotify, not having ownership of my YouTube, not having ownership and knowing what my BMI and all of that other stuff looking like, Damn. not knowing, like, you know, not really having connections to those labels and shit like right. that. Like, you don't really know. So it's a time to just gain these, you know, gather these systems back, you know, because labels had them and certain people got control. You got to relinquish that control. So it's like, it's that type of thing. So, uh... Yeah, it was it, it, it was it was it was hell going through it because you got to kind of, but you know, once I went through my situation, I just recognized how much I didn't know, and that shit just made me uncomfortable. I was like, ain't no way I can be successful because, and you know, coming from a space where like nobody don't know, nobody know this where I'm from, right. nobody know this. Right. You see what I'm saying? So we, now you see there's a reason why. Now you see there's a reason why I went. So I'm like, I understand why God took me on the journey. Like you know what I'm saying? So I I, I get it, man. Um, and and for me, like it's like being of service too so the youth know like what to look out for you know what I'm saying how to represent themselves and stand in their power regardless of being on a major situation or not no matter where I go I stand in my power and I'm, I'm very proud of that yeah. based on me being intentional and like the decisions I made type shit so so now that you know the, that part of it is there any way or what's your plan to get some of that shit back to you yeah uh, fully stand in my power I think it's gonna look a little different <clears> I think now uh, you know, my voice is the, is the key. So whether that's through music or whether that's through speaking or whatever that might look like, uh, I think that's my, you know what I'm saying? That's my next space. And not only that, I think really for me is to do it at, uh, give it a thousand percent. You know what I'm saying? Yeah. I know that I can do more. I know there's areas where I can show up and be better. You know what I'm saying? Um, being out there a little bit more, just doing certain things, speaking, what's on my mind, talking about certain things. Uh, that's how I tend to bring it back to me because I am a, I'm already the thing. I think it's just highlighting that, you know, this is what I do. This is how I live. These are my thoughts. These are my ideas. Because before I never shared them. Right. So I think this is why, you know, coming out and speaking and like people hearing me, getting a perspective, helping to understand my journey, what I've been through and what I have to offer. So um, that's that's where I am now. It's like, that's how I'm gonna get it back in blood. It's really just, I'm gonna do the work. Mm. I'm gonna put out great music. I'm gonna put out great videos. Every time we show up, we're going to be 100. We're going to connect with people. We're going to build the relationships. You know what I'm saying? We're going to serve people in the way that we need to build others up along our journey. And I think that's what I'm doing now. That looks different for sure. You know what I'm saying? Yeah, yeah. <coughs> it's real, bro. That's, that's like a lot of <clears throat> That's yeah. hard, though. Talking yeah. that shit, man. That's what the people want to hear. Yeah. Standing and doing, too, man. That's the fact. Standing and doing. Not just talking about it. Yeah. I would never preach anything or say anything that I haven't done or been through. Never. So who who are some of the young dudes that you you um in tune with right now? Next generation, pretty Next much. Generation, man. Uh I like a lot of the young niggas, bro, who doing their thing. Um Um I like what Baby doing, I like what Dirk doing. Um I a young boy, I like what he's doing too on the music side. Um uh I like that new boss man, D Lo Joint. You know what I'm saying? I like, I like what. Uh, uh, he got a few of them bitches. He got a few of them. I like what he's doing. Um, yeah, that's that's probably my playlist with him riding to right now. Yeah. That type of shit. Yeah. Mm. That high energy shit. Yeah, yeah, yeah that high energy yeah. shit. Yeah, nigga. So I, I fuck with it all, bro. That shit, you know, to watch them do themselves and express themselves at the highest level. That shit. Yeah, I love that shit, bro. <clears throat> 
need them outlets, man. Yeah. Go, like you, I'm tuned in to some young nigga shit as an old nigga and be like, I see your nephew. <laughs> it's right. just that spirit, that energy, man. Yeah. yeah. It hit different. You just hope it don't go too far. Yeah, you got to, mm -hmm. yeah. Keep it on the record. That's all I look at. <laughs> Real shit, bro. Oh, man. Real shit. Get out it ain't there. worth it, because if you, because it was so crazy, it's like if one of them cats make it to C, or even to C30, and he, you, you start processing this shit in your mind of like, damn, it wasn't even that worth it. It wasn't even worth it. You know what I'm saying? Even if a nigga live two, three years longer, you feel like right. you get to the point where like nigga it ain't even. And when you worth look up and then you see everybody else didn't make it, and you like, right. man, that yeah. shit. And you was right there. Yeah. And give a nigga a whole new outlook. But I hate that it, like you said, they gotta go to that extreme for a motherfucker to realize how valuable life really is. Right, bro. You only get one. Yeah, yeah, right. bro. <clears throat> Live that bitch to the fullest, man. What's the name of your um of your independent joint, your your independent label? Uh so the Hood Nation is my brand. Right. Hood okay. Nation. So I, I I didn't start the label yet, but it'll be under the Hood Nation, uh Hood Nation Entertainment type shit. You know what I'm saying? That's my brand, my label. I also got my touring company too. Um, but Hood Nation will be the the, the the stable point. So I'm just treading lightly with that space, you know what I'm yeah. saying? I've seen a lot of OGs. You know, go through things. You know what I'm saying in that space. I think with managing artists and doing all of that extra shit. So, I just want to be smart about it. I want to make sure that I have the proper amount of value and uh, you know leadership to be able to guide you know them the proper the proper way. So yeah, that, that's really my thing. Man, you know what's crazy? I feel like you can drop one of these anthems whenever you get ready, though. Any, yeah, any good time. Summer coming up. Yeah, I'm already on the head. Summertime, yeah. even before then. I got some Afrobeat, I'm a piano style music dropping too. But one of the guys out there, then I got like, uh, like I was telling Brown, we finish the uh, the body, the, the the soul portion, which is just gonna be like a testament of my heart, my spirit, that hard shit, of like really when I'm on type yeah. shit. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? So like, uh, I'm excited about it, dog, because I, I love the opportunity to show niggas like, I'm really the best doing this in any yeah, y'all that's wonder, what I was just like, getting ready you know to ask you. Like, a lot of your fan base is in the street. Like, yeah, bro. Real street niggas and, yeah, yeah, like, yeah. you know, hustle hard and nigga. Yeah, yeah, what, yeah. what you gonna have for them? Yeah. Uh, I mean, life shit, you know what I'm saying? How I navigated my path, you know, uh, as a black man growing up in the hood, bro, like, there's a lot that I learned and I had to develop about my person and my being that I think any street nigga, any hood nigga, can benefit from on how to live a more loving life, how to really be confident with yourself, how to really just learn how to be as a black man. I think that's important because everything is based upon us doing shit. We got to do, we got to create this thing, do this thing, do this thing. When in rea reality, a lot of us can't just be with ourselves. So I think, you know, those type of things, but in the ways in which black men can receive it though, still in that way where it's like, I'm delivering this shit to where you can still feel it. Where you be like, man, that's some real shit. You know what I'm saying? Now it's time for me to give you the stories. You feel me? Of like what that frustration felt like, man, what that fear really felt like, bro. This really what it felt like. Right. This really what that independent shit felt like. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? This really what that. So to me, when you share real stories like that, that's a human experience ultimately. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? So like, uh, that's that's what I plan on giving the real niggas, bro, is uh life in a in a, in a, in a, in, a, in a song. Bro, how did you find your peace? Uh, I went and healed, bro, honestly, real shit. I think like I took three, four years after the moment that I went independent and I left the Khaled situation. Uh, that was the moment where I just decided, dog, I was like, man, I gotta, I really gotta take my power back. I gotta get some type of power. Like I, I ain't had no control of my contract. I ain't had no control of my systems. Ultimately, other people own my shit. They tell me when to move, what to say, how to say it. It was trying, it was time, you know, getting down to that. So for me, I was like, man, this ain't, this ain't me. I can't operate in my fullest truth because this is what they would rather me put out commercially. And I'm like, man, this shit just ain't authentic to me, dog. You know what I'm saying? And business is getting handled without, you know, me being able to have a say so in that. You know what I'm saying? Especially if the if I'm involved in the business, you know what I'm saying? I know it's not my thing or my label, but if we homies and we handling business, you know what I'm saying? I want to be able to be upfront about just this the move I made, the homie. Like, you know what I'm saying? So you know what's going on. So it was just little things like that, man, I think. Uh, for me, that just led me to just be like, man, you know what? Now that I'm independent, dog, I gotta just go on a journey of just finding out who I am. Because when I when I was 18, bro, I knew who, like, I knew who Ace Hood was for years, 
But I forgot who Lil Twan was. I forgot that shit. I forgot how he rock and how he do shit. What his heart really want. Like, what his mind thinking and shit. I totally adopted this ace hood and the lifestyle. Now, I'm like, now I'm addicted to the lifestyle of people telling me I'm great. I need the performances. I need this. I need the, like, it's all fueling. It's fueling that being and that thing. Until, like, you know, God put me in a situation of uh, insulation and isolation. You know what I'm saying? To really, like, be broken apart, really to be kind of stripped away from those things that I love the most, or at least thought I love the most, or at least these are the things that bring me value as a man. So without these, without these traveling or doing the things in the way that I do it and the big label, like who am I now? Am I worthy for real? You see what I'm saying? Like, should I still be doing this shit? So I had to go through that, uh, the ego death of just really killing, like not killing off, but just healing that, that youthful part of me that led me to the industry. You know what I'm saying? Healing that part of being abandoned, didn't have my pops, <clears throat> feeling like, man, I'm gonna pull up. You know what I'm saying? Like, and now the industry has become like my soul proprietor, my soul, he everything. And I Khaled come in and he plays somewhat of a figure, you know, which was beautiful. You know what I'm saying? But I just recognize all of where I lack because as artists, sometimes we look into the world like, man, we got this thing all figured out when in reality, like your person and your building, you, you know, your being is insufficient. You know what I'm saying? When you go home, you feel sad. <clears throat> you got all the money, yeah, you got, got everything. We got yeah. the whips outside. We got it all. I've got the crib. We got everything. I've always had it. But it's like, you know, recognizing, damn, we ain't got nobody to share this with. So my wife come in later. Mm -hmm. Damn, I'm like, man, this shit feeling crazy. I really feel alone and about four niggas with me, 40 niggas. I'm like, I still feel like, I you know what I'm saying? Like, if I feel like if I make a left or just go, like a nigga gonna knock my head, like, it's to the point where like, nigga, you, we doing this. Like, right. You know what I'm saying? We ain't doing none of that other shit you wanna explore with. Right. And that's my being, you know what I'm saying? That was my journey. So, you know, I had to go through, you know, cutting off and all that other shit, man. But um, I just went on the space of just separating myself from the industry because I had to decide, like, I knew how to always hood rock, but I gotta figure moving forward, who am I now? What am I gonna say now moving forward? I gave y'all this. The Bugattis, the Hustle Hards, but what am I gonna say to you now moving forward as an independent artist? Exactly. And then we trusted the process. Yeah, yeah. Yeah. That's a hell of a spill. Yeah. For real. Yeah, man. Yeah. I hope you listen, J O N. I was the one. Yeah. <laughs> every time I look up, this nigga trying to go solo. I told him we're a group. <laughs> See how hard this is to do this shit by yourself? Nah, for sure. You ain't been to nobody's school, just a bunch of sunglasses. Mm -hmm. <laughs> Don't know shit about this business. Space hard, too, fool. Appreciate that. Uh, go crazy. Yeah. Hood Nation. Hood Nation, man. You got you have any artists or you don't uh, you focusing on the on the solo right now? You know you gotta go get one of them little niggas. I'm gonna grab somebody. I'm you got to. Yeah, I'm gonna grab one of the youngins. Uh, you know. And show them you know, the business I wanna be, the right I, I wanna way. be real though about it, cause you know, I don't wanna <clears> just do it cause I feel like, it, it feel like the thing to do. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? Like on some real shit, dog. I'm gonna find one you it, believe in Like I'm gonna find one, like real shit. To me, when I get that spark of like, all right, this little nigga or whoever, female, whatever it might look like, then I can invest my time and energy. Oh yeah, one thousand percent. But it's, it's you've been, you been the young nigga before. I've been you, the and young now nigga. you know the business, so you right. can do the it's shit so. right. You can sh you can show up, and it ain't even got to be about no nigga, no money, and no shit like that. Like, bro, I just want to make sure you straight. Yeah. This this right. what you looking for. This what you avoid. Like like you said, that testimony tell your story, man. Make sure, my, like, that's the way you get them back. Yeah. Real talk. Hell yeah. Yeah. I fuck with that. I think that's actually the way I would approach the two. Yeah. It's like softly just involve myself, you know what I'm saying? Being around, offering information where I can, you know what I'm saying? Yeah. And then eventually that'll make sense, you know? You see a nigga long enough, you know I want the best for you. Exactly. You know man. what I'm saying? Yeah. <clears throat> How, where you see the game at right now? From your vantage point, what is it looking like? Free fall, man. It's a free for all. Um, I see opportunity, though. You know what I'm saying? Um... I actually see evolution too, man. Rather than I, I agree with it or not, I think, uh, yeah, you know, I, I do think it's in an interesting space in terms of like, but I think there's versions of it, you know? I think, um, yeah, we got the drill and all that extra shit and we got, you know, um, but I think it's that's just what it looks like when, when it's evolving. Mm. It's been, it's been uh, in the culture. I think this has been our culture forever, man. So I think, uh, I, I take it as it comes, you know. I think mainly I look at it as like, how can I uh, 
move with the times, right? Like almost be like with the waves and shit. Like I cannot, you know, fall in with the times and shit um, or elevate and grow with the times. But uh, even if I don't like it and or don't love what's happening, I don't shun it though. Right. You know what I'm saying? Even if I don't understand it, I'm just like... Somebody like it. Somebody like that shit. Right. Somebody like it. And you can see where it came from because that's what... Whenever anybody get older, they gonna look at the youth like, oh, they was... They crazy. Hey, what the yeah, fuck? Yeah, no. They was looking at us like yeah. we was crazy. They, were look, they we was, was looking at them like they was crazy. They parents was looking at them like so. Yeah. Yeah, it's never going to, like, as long as we keep pushing the shit, where else is going to push? You, you know what I'm saying? Yeah. Like, motherfuckers going to try to get more shocking than they can be than a motherfucker until, yeah. you know, bitches so naked they put clothes on. I don't know. <laughs> right. But then you got to keep in mind, these <laughs> young shit niggas. go reverse and they put on. These young <laughs> niggas don't want to make no music for a nigga that's 35. They don't give a fuck if you right. like it or not. Like, <laughs> right. That's the gauge that they using. Like, old niggas like it. We ain't fucking with right. it. Right. <laughs> Move on to something else. It's time to switch this shit up, man. I don't want Uncle Nim jamming my shit. So they got one old nigga in the studio, whatever he nod his head. Cut that beat off. Cut that beat off. Turn that monkey shit off. Oh. Man, take them vote. I'm finna put them on another track, man. I want them old niggas bumping my soon, shit. As soon as soon as the old nigga be like, this sound like a bunch of noise. Yeah, that's what we're running with. We got up one night. Yeah. This sound like a bunch of noise. Yeah, that's it. Mm. That's it. Yeah. <laughs> that's funny, dog. They got what a shit. Yeah. If a nigga know better, man, Taste you know shit. Taste testing. That's beauty beat. and getting older, man. Hell yeah, man, it's the goal. Getting wise and shit, you know? It's the goal. I hope you want to make some better decisions at some point in your life. I would hope so. Absolutely. Enjoy yourself, you know what I'm saying? Every day I'm trying to make I'm trying to make it better than the the last one. Real shit, man. I wake up like the dad on American Dad. I jump up, good morning, USA. <laughs> one nut hanging out of my drawers. That's <laughs> one long ass granddaddy nut. <laughs> it be crazy, okay. Like a cue ball in a skin sack. <laughs> hey, <boy. laughs> that was <boy>, crazy. <laughs> <laughs> one grapefruit sized nut. <laughs> <laughs> That's funny. Hey man, I know you fuck with them verts. Yeah, yeah, I fuck with the verts. You, hey, yeah. I, got, I need some. I got some people out there that's way crazier than me, but for sure I fuck with the verts. Sure. Hey man, I got a few yeah. verts you might you might want to see. Let me see what you rocking I with. I'm some, like, I, I know what's going on. That's some real good I shit. Vividly, nigga, as a shorty seeing them dunks, nigga, I, like, yeah. Who had the cleanest vert in your hood? The car community gonna love this shit. Give me some local legends. That you, Let me you know how local. when a nigga got a clean air car in the hood, everybody know this nigga for about 20, 22 yeah. blocks. This nigga Nava got a hard dunk. Oh, he got one. He got another one that he working on right now. Yeah, that's gonna Nava, be cold. Nava hard. Nava from the crib. Yeah. Nava she Motherfucking hard, legend bro. when it comes to them dogs. He, he, they shout out to Nava. He a fool with it. Yeah, that, that motherfucking blue he did with the gold. Rod Wave got a cold one too. I seen Rod Wave shit. Yeah. And what them boy did to that motherfucker. Kenny down there. Oh, 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 oh. Where they at? Where he at? The, the, the guy. Uh, Kenny? The, yo, that's the guy who do the work. I 95 Motorsports. Oh, okay. Yeah. Well, he do some shit, boy. Yeah, hell yeah. He go all underneath there. He rebrand, retouch everything. Frame off everything. Yeah, yeah. <clears throat> yeah, you got it. It's a few legends down that way, shit. Where well, y'all yeah. suited. I'm gonna get me one while I'm out here though. I gotta I got have one. one for you. I reckon I, yeah, yeah. Oh, you got one for me? Rich? I got you one oh, brother, for you. Man, yes, sir. Yeah, I got yes, one sir. for you. Yeah. I gotta go crazy on mine too though. It's on, you know, I gotta go crazy. I'm telling you, man, you you got, I'm gonna have you a nice project. You can go wherever you wanna go with it. Yeah. Nice. Yeah. Yeah, nothing to worry about on that, man. Let them know where they can keep up with the new shit and all that. Uh uh man. Where they can shit. catch up with you at. Uh, catch up with me, man. It, uh, anything Ace Hood, you know what I'm saying? Uh, shit, TikTok Ace Hood, Instagram Ace Hood. Uh, I gotta ask you also this. Also, my fitness too. Hashtag Shredded.com. Make sure y'all go check that out. Hell yeah. Yeah, we building that community out too. So, uh, you know, we give y'all the music shit. You know what I'm saying? And I give y'all to, to to focus on your mind, and then I give you the health and wellness shit to focus on the body and the spirit. You know what I'm saying? Mind for gyms and shit like that. So you know, shit like that. That's gonna be coming soon that I'm working on. Uh, Bro, have you got to catch any of these new female rappers? What they got? They got a hell of yeah, a movement yeah. going on with the ladies right now. Yeah, they do, bro. 
So for you to be, you know what I'm saying, in the in the game as a, like I said, your vantage point, man, what you think of that movement? I think they're That's killing That's going on right in the middle of the Movement, bro, shit. I think they're killing it, bro. Yeah. They killing it, dog. The Lottos, um, you know, it's another song that I heard. Bro, Memphis about. got about nine of them that can rap their ass on. Oh, man, the Glorilla, that new joint. Yeah, Glow. That shit go off. <laughs> yeah, Glow. Uh, that know. motherfucking, uh... In it, in it, in it, in like Sunday service. In it, in it, in it, in it, in it, in it, That shit go hard. Man, every time I see where that goddamn microphone just hanging out in the street, I'm yeah, like, yeah, it's so always one, all them women who done did one of them, all they shit yeah. hard. Yeah. Yeah. LeBron ass was singing the yeah, glow shit. Yeah, that shit go hard, <laughs> now. That shit hard. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> Stop a little pussy, <laughs> bitch. Just chill, dog. <laughs> Curving, no curving. My shit is late. Man, curving, no curving. Yeah. If she don't come out with her own chain. She got to, bro. Curving, 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 no curving. curving. <laughs> Even the curvings fuck with that one. Cuban on curvings, my shit is late. That need to be the next. That's the follow-up. Curving on curving. Mm-hmm. <laughs> that, hey, that music. That shit different. But there's a lot of new motherfuckers popping up, man. Every time I look up, I'm having to look up some nigga whose name I don't understand. Yeah. Any nigga that got initials in front of their name, I don't know what that shit stand for. Shout out to Trapland Pat, though, two of the little homies in the city. Oh, that nigga go hard. You know what I'm saying? Shout out to the boys in the crib doing their thing. See them boys turning up and shit, so. Bro, you heard of Tight out of Florida? Tight? Yeah. Major. Spell it, Tight. T Y T E. Damn, that nigga fool with a shout out to my nigga. Oh, you nigga go crazy. Tight. Yeah. Well, shit, man, we could do this all day. You here now, so this gonna be, we'll just say this part one. Yeah, I'm gonna pull it back up. You gotta pull it back up when Chico and DC here. For sure. That's, that's, you gotta do that. And we, I gotta show you these verts before you get the fuck out of here. Real shit. Well, look, man, this your first time stopping through the trap, but don't let it be the last, man. Ace Hood, 85 South, we out of here. So. Hey, hold up, hold up. Can't let you go nowhere unless we give you some of this 85 South oh, merch. Brother, I appreciate you. you know what I'm saying? Yes, sir. Make sure you big stepping out here on these streets. Oh, street. yeah, yeah, yeah. I got the grip on point now. At least something to wear back from the gym. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> hey, good. We out of here. I appreciate you. Let's get a photo, man. Thanks, dude. Ying, 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 ying. What's up, world? It's your boy Chico Bean. And in case you haven't heard, we at the 85 South Show have launched our own independent streaming service called Channel 85. And for our loyal supporters, we're currently offering 20% off for six months. Just use code 85%. That's P E R C E N T E E R 85%. And you'll get 20% off for the first six months. Now, once you sign up, you'll get access to the podcast a whole day earlier than everyone else on YouTube. All of our new live shows, independent specials, new shows like five on an 85 and even get special offers and discount codes for 85 south show merchandise and shows it's only eight dollars and fifty cent a month or 85 dollars for the entire year and you can find us online at channel 85.com or on your iphone apple tv amazon fire stick and roku and it's even on android for all my people with the green text and remember use code 85 percent for 20 percent off for a whole six months that's channel 85 subscribe right now. Bowling.